So um, my name is Peter Kome. Um, I want to take you through on how to apply a tourniquet. So tourniquet is a device used to stop the flow of the blood from the veins or arteries. And once used properly, it can save a life. It is used during emergencies, either when the vehicle crashes your leg, there you lose a lot of blood. Um, when uh, you have a gunshot um, to the leg, that is cut us again the boat. You can use a tourniquet to stop um, major bleeding. It is used again to stop um, bleeding to the extremities, either lower or upper extremities. And now I want to take you through on how to use a tourniquet. This is the tourniquet, it's known as cut tourniquet. And now I want to take you through on how to use it. Just remove this one as well. Put it here. So assuming now we have an amputated leg, amputation is a detachment of um, the leg from its original position, or when the leg is ideally crushed. So um, put this one here. Again, I've said my name is Peter. Um, I want to apply this tourniquet to you. It will help you stop meet up the, the bleeding. Then from there, I am going to take you to the hospital, right? So um, we use this one to tighten. So you, you twist it slowly and tightly. Now the tourniquet is tight, it is tight. So what should you do? You put this one here, just need to lock it. And then from there, you lock it that way. What next? What you should do, we need to write <coughs> time. And um, this time is 535. So you write your tonic here, 535. Why? We do this because when you take the casualties to hospital, the nurse and doctor would like to know how many minutes tonic has lasted in, in the body. So that's how we put tonic. But now, in the community there, how do we improvise a tonic? It is very simple. Sorry, so I want to show you how to improvise the tonic. Sorry. So what can you use to improvise a tonic? This shirt can be used to improvise a tonic. The tie you can just carry up or rather use a clip bandage. For example, this one. So what should you do? Just come with a material like this one. At least two inches. Okay. What should you do? Just pull it here, this way. It's very simple. So when you look at my tourniquet, as a, a cord that was being used ideally to uh, tighten. So because at the public there you don't have a, a tourniquet, so I want you to use either a metal, something that is firm to enable you to tighten this particular point. So what should you do? So once you put that, this one, this way, what else do you want to do? Uh, use this one tight here. Very simple. You put it this way. That way. Okay. Once you put it that way, now it will help you to tighten. Sorry, um, might feel pain. So you twist it this way. You twist it this way. So it's okay, sorry, sorry. So I again, I already see that one. So what next? Now you need to put to tie it into place and secure it. At this particular point, now the tourniquet is in place. What should you do? Because you cannot write here, note time, either on a top of paper, or because you have a smartphone, you can record the time, um, you have put the tourniquet, and then take this pressure to the hospital. Thank you for having time to, for this discussion. In the case of major bleeding to these extremities, we can use um, this tourniquet improvisation to stop this major bleeding. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Uh, for the next session, I'll teach you on the current link. Thank you. Thank you.